www.newdubos.com. This is again Ty. Uh, it's another day for me. I've slept, and this time I would like to continue the video series that I'm creating on the tools and apps. I mean, an overview of the tools and apps on a Windows 8 computer. And this time, what I would like to show you is the feature that you can rearrange, resize, um, and also remove the tools, the icons, or the tiles that you see on the start menu. If you might reminisce, uh, let's go back to your desktop. If you might reminisce or remember how Windows 7, going back down to the older version of Windows, if you go straight down to this part right here on the left um, corner of your screen, you'd be getting a Windows logo, like a circle logo in there, or a start button you can click and would list down all the applications that you have in icons with a uh, with a pop-up window right but here the difference is when you hover and click on this lower left corner which is basically this just the start button it would arrange or show you your programs listed on tiles view or I mean on a tiled view um, this is optimized for Windows tablets, adapted for Windows PC, uh, for Windows um, mob mobile applications that there is. So y it might be some somehow new to you, but the feature is that it's live tiles. You, you'd be getting updates with, with the tiles that you have. So what you do is you pick something a uh, tile is very important on your part. Um, it's a little different when it was arranged. The desktop was here, but you can again rearrange that. So how you do that? Simply just click on something, and then hold that. And then you can move that like that. Let's say um, go back. Let's say this desktop right here. You, this is um, somehow that you often use, so you can put that here, and me I always actually use Skype so I want to use I want to have Skype there I want to have desktop right here and also uh, I always access Firefox so I want to have Firefox maybe here the thing there is if you take a look at this Skype tile oh, let's oh, no, sorry let's go back right click on the tile itself and it will give you an option right at the bottom. You got unpin if you want to remove that. You got uninstall if you want to remove the program. You got make it smaller. If you do, it would just look like that. You want to go back and make it uh, again larger here, and you make it larger. And you got an option that says right there, turn the live tile off. What you what you do with that is here let's have this uh, something that if we turn this one second if we turn this off why well, it's not moving now there you go if you turn that live tile off then you don't get animations you don't get updates so let's bring it back and back on so you'd see messages coming in and um, animations coming in let's say this Turn that off, and it's gonna be like that. Just, just no animation, no updates, no pop-ins, uh, nothing that you can see that it's been updated. But if you turn that on again, and it will give you updates. All right. So again, if you'd wanna move things, you just drag that in there. If you wanna resize, right-click uh, here. Right-click and sorry. Let's go back because I've clicked a lot already, so it's somehow like shifted or something. Let's go back here, so it's a lot fresh now. So right click and make it smaller. Also, you can uninstall and turn it off. And another with some applications like this, take a look at Firefox. You wouldn't get to have an option to make it larger. That's uh, a little bit of a difference with uh, some applications. Again, it's not for every application that you install, but to some, it is. Like here, if 
for SkyDrive, you don't have an option to make it longer. And here, to remove uh, programs that you don't like listed on your start menu, since it's just going to clutter in there that you don't actually use. Uh, I myself, I use WinZip, but I use that on a right click command. So don't usually root your action from start menu using a WinZip. So what you do is right click on that. You don't uninstall because, of course, you, you're going to take that out from your system. But you just have to do is to unpin from the start menu. I'm going to show you something. Let's go back to, let's say you use that uh, in Importantly, you'd want to have that on your desktop. So let's go to the desktop part right here. And you would want to have that WinZip showing here on your taskbar so you can do quick launch. So go back, go to that uh, WinZip icon right here, right click on that. You got something that says pin the taskbar. Let's go back to your desktop, and there is WinZip already. If you want to remove that, right click, uh, just say unpin from taskbar back again again you would want to take this out so just click on that you say uh, where's that unpin from start and it's gone already okay so that's actually how you rearrange remove and customize your life tiles with your uh, Windows 8 start menu for more video tutorials you could always check out www.newtoboss.com and on our YouTube channel, we're youtube.com slash Again, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching. See you back.